So I've been wanting to make a video on this guy literally forever, ever since I pulled him. And the thing is, I feel like he is by far the most disappointing character in the entire game. And as a wise man once said, He's a fraud. He's an absolute fraud. And I'm not gonna sit here pretending that he's anything more than that. Cause he's not. He's a con artist and he should be ashamed of himself. You have a little bit of a vendetta against this guy. Yeah. So we're gonna go through all the game modes to show you how well he performs. As always, this was filmed on test server. And these are gear and artifact that we used on him. And since he's an AOE fighter, the main testing will be done on gear raid one. So one of the main reasons why I feel like he's such a disappointment is because his kit is so damn cool. Like he, he's a chaotic hero, but he doesn't really do any damage to himself. And he does have this pretty cool unyielding state, which is really unique, where the first time he gets down to zero, he can save himself from dying, which is extremely useful, but just not in anything we have seen yet content wise. And on top of that, he has this pretty cool thing with his ult, where if you wait till it's 200%, then it does even more damage and it puts out a stun. So his main problem is that outside of his ultimate, he really doesn't do any damage. Because when he gets his ultimate, not only does his range extend, but he just demolishes everybody in front of him, right? But outside of that, he hits like a wet sponge. Speaking of damage, let's see what his damage numbers are. It's time for the moment you've been waiting for! Why is it so small? I don't know, but you know, while we're here, we might as well do a small one ad, because it looks like that thing's gonna take a while anyways. I don't know if you guys heard, but uh, Small One is the official third party platform for Watcher of Realms whenever you guys want to do a top up. And the thing is that they have a permanent 10% discount going all the time. And there is an event this week starting from the 2nd, which has already happened, ending on the 12th. Preparing the Krabby Patty! So after all that suspense, here is how Yuridin performed. And the funny thing is, he didn't do that great, but you know who did better than him? Is Cyrus. And if you guys are trying to get Cyrus this weekend, make sure to use our links for Small One in the description. That is the end of the Small One app. We also tested him against an A1 Valkyria because we did not have an A0 on test server. And she blew him out of the water which is ridiculous because she's one of the most common characters in the game and he is ancient exclusive. Her advantage comes from her A1 because it extends her range and she manages to hit the boss, which Yuridin doesn't do. We also tested Yermit and they managed to do the same amount of damage, more or less. But let's move on to Arena now. So here's the thing about Arena. When I first pulled him, I was like, here we go. Finally, I'm gonna have someone that I could use to compete in Arena. I got this a while ago, right? Before I knew better. And as you can see here, he's not used in any teams, literally ever, right? In any of the top teams. And it gets worse because even when there is a team with someone like Gon or Valderon, a chaotic lord, he's still not used, right? That's how aggressively useless he is in Arena. In Immortal Codex Conqueror, he's always at the top of the leaderboard. But even though Gon is his lord, Valkyria often does almost double the damage as him. But let's end it on, let's say, a good note. Because there is one place where he is the best he can be, and that is Guild Wars. He is really good because his base stats are extremely high. Right? And so if you put some decent gear on him, he could be very easily the strongest character in your roster. And when you're doing Guild Wars, you need to affiliate these demons with the highest BP characters that you have. And there's no one better than him. So this video would not be complete without the man himself, the one who really started this, the one who really kind of started testing Yuridin for who he really is. Ronaldo. Hey Ronaldo, I, uh, I thought he'd be great to help us on the should you summon part. So what do you feel like this banner this weekend? What would you like to do when it comes to summoning? What would you recommend? 
I think just I think you brought it to the point in the video already. Uh, I don't think Uridin is going to be the, the attraction, the star of this banner. Uh, Cyrus is, and you can go for him, but with that new wave of lords, I personally would save up, especially if, as free to play. Yeah, I I think most people are probably out of their ancients by now <laughs> because of all the waves that have been coming. And um, if you guys are ones trying to save up for your Lord Pity, I don't know if he's Cyrus is one I'd really go and use my Lord Pity on. Mm -hmm. But he is great, and I would personally say he's probably the best defender in the game. Um, but, you know. There was yeah. also Broke here, I mean. Sure, sure, yeah, Broke here's great too. But, uh, alright man, is there anything you want to say real quick about Uridin and this man you've had a grudge against? Uridin is a fraud. He's far from the best new hero in the game. He's not even new nowadays. Yeah. Take it away. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Well, thanks for coming on. <laughs> thanks for having me. So if you guys want to see a more in-depth video as to why Uridin is so disappointing, make sure to check out Ronaldo's video on it because it is really well edited, really well tested, and it's one of my favorite videos in this community, full stop. So make sure to check that out. But thanks guys for getting this far in the video and see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.